Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brickzar, the home of the most important Bionicle content on YouTube. So today we're going to be looking at this massive set that actually turned out to be much bigger than I expected. Uh, and I had actually uh, enjoyed building this a little bit. <laughs> so uh, I don't know a lot about it. I, I have seen the movie. Uh, but they didn't give us much information in the manual for this set 8624. But clearly, looking at the box art, it is based on Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. I think the running name of this set is uh, Battle for Mustafar. Uh, something like that. So, uh, or Race to get Mustafar. Actually, it says Race for the Mask of Life. I don't remember that in the movie. I just remember all the lava. And and I think... Something, what was that? So I think this is a case of the box art making the set appear a lot cooler than it really is. Um, but then it actually is pretty cool, I guess. But even the instruction manuals kind of mislead you. You see all the Mustafar lava. We got our, our lava miners here in the set, which we'll show you. Uh, but yeah, I, I got this box actually sealed. <laughs> uh, but I, in one of the recent hauls we had, uh, this was part of it. I was actually trying to get a different Bionicle set, and this one was included with it. It was actually in really good condition. It's 100% complete. In fact, one of the parts that I thought it was missing, uh, I went and got out of my own collection, and then come to find out it was actually there all along. Because these pearl gray parts on here kind of blend in with the light bluish gray sometimes. And I didn't realize it was already connected. But So this uh, set is pretty large for a 500 piece set because you got some large elements. It's got some neat play features. It's got eight Bionicle figures. Uh, no Anakin and no Obi-Wan. So just to let you know, this is what happened before... Uh, Anakin went to Mustafar. So, you know, uh, Emperor Palpatine sent Anakin there to Mustafar to, to kill all the Separatists, which, um, pro tip, uh, unrelated to this review, but uh, if you make alliances with people that are willing to kill innocent people, uh, they probably don't have a problem killing bad people, too. So, yeah, the, that, yeah, <clears throat> they should have seen that coming. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, they, they're, they're over there mining the lava, and then they decide that even though this team already has the mask, they want to fight for this mask, I think. I think that's what's going on here, because they got little balls, they got little balls, and they're trying to hit this mask here, which will open up the gate to the mask for life. Uh, that's what I think has happened. happening. You tell me what you think. But, oh, uh, let me uh, get you... So this is Team Tooth. Uh, everybody's got big teeth. So they got their little implements of war. Uh, these Bionicle figures, I think, are some that can break, especially if they're reddish brown or dark red. So I was really careful with dark red dude there. And then this is Team Eyeballs or something. What, I, don't, they're, uh, I don't know. They don't have the big teeth. This Team No Teeth. Team, we need a dentist. So th these guys have this vehicle, which I'll show you how it, the play features of it. Uh, the Team Teeth have this vehicle, which is way cooler, <laughs> in my opinion. And they've got some extra little weapons and then the Mask of Life. So basically, uh, this is to see who gets to be there when Anakin comes, I guess. I, I don't know what the goal was. So bring, uh, let's say, actually, let's do this vehicle first. This is the chomper. Guess it would help if you could actually see it. So you, you got the little thing here that lowers it. Boop, 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 to hide the secret balls. So put three in there. I think the instructions show two. And then you got your little shooters, which use these rubbery technic pin th pieces. And then you're supposed to, I think, pull it back. Uh-oh. I broke it. It broke. I don't know how it works. Maybe you're supposed to flick it. I don't know. Why is this hard? I don't know how this... I don't know. What does the instructions say? 
let's see. It doesn't show, does it? So I think you're supposed to push it. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Oh, that, that ball's lost. Too high. Oh, oh, it went in the castle. It landed in the castle. So the first ball landed back there. Second one landed up here somewhere. I think it took out a horseman. Uh, I can't see it. Maybe it's behind the castle. There's too much junk on this shelf. Oh, I knocked the antenna off. Where is the ball? Hard to do with one hand. Probably gonna break my yellow castle. There's the ball. It's in the corner. Oh boy. So that was only slightly annoying that I, I had to look for the balls there. But uh, anyway, we found it. So that's what that one does. So pretty neat little firing mechanism, I guess, if you don't mind losing Lego pieces. And you are supposed to hit the uh, mask. I'll pull the mask up and show you. So when you hit the mask, oh, it didn't work. Something, I didn't do something. Oh, here we go. It's got to push it down and then you go boop and it shoots up. Oh, and then the thing came down. So this is also another play feature, this little cut your head off thing. So you put, wait a minute, you do this like that. If you pull that out, it's like, whoa, Indiana Jones, you know. That type of thing. Uh, but this is pretty neat with the little spring-loaded mechanism there. It's got that, that rubber band. And then when you hit the mass, it's like, pew! It'd be cooler if it went down like that and chopped them like a guillotine. 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 So the other uh, guys, the teeth team, Team Teeth, I think they got a cooler thing. So they got the same kind of firing mechanism here, but they got this. Ooh, you can do that. Ooh. And they can also do this. And they go, watch this. And then, oh, that's my own team. That's my own team. So they win. So I'm going to wrap this up because it's like 112 degrees down here. Um, so this is uh, a set I've had for a long time, this sealed one here. I actually had two. I can't find the other one. I may have sold it at Brick Fair at the yard sale. But anyway, this one here came with the other lot. This one has a part out value of almost $200, uh, which is more than the sealed price. So what I'm going to do is part this one out and put it in my BrickLink store and keep the box for it. And then I'm going to use uh, keep these the used one for my personal collection. So that's gonna help um, add some stuff to the inventory as I just hit my microphone with the box. But yeah, that's uh, Bionicle episode three, um, Attack on Mustafar or Battle for Mustafar. But uh, tell me what you think. This did come out a year after, I think, <laughs> Star Wars. So I don't know what, uh, what they were going for here. You tell me, anyway. That's all I want to do, wearing a dad shirt. Look, different shirt every day, still. See you guys.